Hi, my name is Phil. I like to talk about politics and, well, it's all kicking off at the Home Office. Despite the fact that the Prime Minister had apparently told Priti Patel, the Home Secretary, to defuse the public row with her permanent secretary, Sir Philip Rutnam, looks like the opposite has happened. He has resigned and this is no ordinary resignation. Now Patel is going to have to have her actions sifted through in, uh, in the public eye as it's all going to tribunal. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So yes, Sir Philip Rottenham, the most senior civil servant at the Home Office, or he was till he resigned, uh, has resigned. And not only that, he made a public statement absolutely slating his minister, Priti Patel. The word vicious was used. Now, don't get me wrong. Let's say you didn't know much about either, you just get your information about various people from whichever echo chamber you happen to be in. You couldn't possibly say if this is a disgruntled civil servant who's resisting much needed reform or a viperous minister who treats people like the mud on her shoes. Of course, Priti Patel has form. Those of us who pay more careful attention probably know which it is. Remember, she is the one who described British workers as the worst idlers in the world. She was apparently much less polite in her personal attacks on her own officials. But let's be charitable and say we don't know the real truth of things yet. Normally what happens in these situations is you never will uh, because you pay off the resigning official and get them to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. Now when I was talking about the prospect of him resigning last week, I did mention that Patel's own policy from her time as a junior minister in the Treasury makes this much more difficult. There's a bit of a cap on these payments. And of course, if you're trying to pay off someone who's already on a hefty wage and no doubt has quite a bit pugged away, it's a little bit more difficult if you really annoy them. So I don't know if there was even any attempt to silence him. What we do know is that he is not being silenced. Not only has he made a public statement accusing her of bullying, in fact, it's a complete takedown, he is taking her to an employment tribunal for constructive dismissal. Now, employment tribunals are usually a ball ache for victims. Even if you win, you don't really win. You don't really get any benefit other than being vindicated. And it's also, like any other personal legal process, lengthy and stressful. And we know that in this particular case, very high profile situation like this, it will be even more stressful. In any employment tribunal, the, uh, the, the employer effectively will attack the claimant um, and this will happen with spades. We know that not only government ministers, but the Tory newspapers as well will perform quite an unedifying character assassination on him. I also said last week that they will heap the blame for Windrush on him when the report is released as well. He is going to endure a quite torrid time of this. And regardless of who you may wish to believe is the goody in all of this, that shows that he's been very courageous. But for those of us watching from the outside, it means we're going to have Patel's methods scrutinised in forensic detail once this tribunal begins proper. You do not get to be permanent secretary by being either stupid or bad at admin. And ministers need to be very frank with their officials in order to get anything done quickly. Patel is also not very good at covering her tracks. She is indiscreet. We know this from a few years ago when she was sacked by Theresa May for, well, at the end of the day, being bad at covering her tracks and being very indiscreet. This all leads to the inevitable conclusion that Rutnam will have some very damaging evidence, not just accusations. That's no good. He knows he will need actual evidence. He knows he's going to face some pretty barbaric attacks and that this will drag on for some time. Of course he does. There's no way he'd be going through this if he didn't have a pretty serious arsenal prepared. So for all the strong opinions being viewed in the media at the moment, obviously you can just point, give me a newspaper and I will tell you what they're saying about it. It's pretty obvious depending on which side they're on. It's the legal arguments that are going to be revealing and surely very damaging for Johnson's government because he is sticking behind her. Johnson had the opportunity to sack Patel when it was clear she was losing control very badly. She doesn't wield any special power in the party to hold against Johnson. So you wonder why he didn't. And I do wonder why he didn't. I am wondering if Priti Patel has something on Johnson. 
I've been wondering if a number of people do, but perhaps that is a subject for another video. For now, we'll have to be patient, of course, these things do take time, but Priti Patel is going to be facing a lot of damaging revelations in public. The immediate procedure is that Rottenham will have to bring a claim. I presume he'll have thought about this in advance and will be ready to do so pretty quickly, within days I would expect. He has three months, in theory, uh, but I imagine he'll be wanting to push it as soon as possible. There's an initial procedure to go through to see if an agreement can be made between the two parties to settle before going through the full legal process. Uh, obviously, Rutnam is not interested in being paid off. The only way I suppose that could happen is if they hadn't tried to pay him off, but he is amenable to it. But as I say, that doesn't sound like the case. So I can't imagine that that is going to derail this. The tribunal will then agree a timeline with the two parties. And, and when that is announced, that will be the first time we get something really interesting. That is starters orders, basically. I would expect Patel to use up the maximum possible time to hand over any requested documents and, and then some. However, she's not going to be the one suffering any damage until hearings become. So she will seek to delay those wherever she can. But that's the situation we have right now. All very spicy. But as I've said before, one thing we are guaranteed with this government is a lot of washing being aired in public. They are especially obnoxious and incompetent and with absolutely no sense of discretion at all. So I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, then please also click the Patreon link for details. And until next time, I'll see you later.